Nikolai Berdyaev Nikolai Alexandrovich Berdyaev Slash BRDJJF JV Slash Russian March 18, 1874 March 24, 1948 was a Russian political and also Christian religious philosopher who emphasized the existential spiritual significance of human freedom and the human person. Alternate historical spellings of his name in English include Bertie Even Bertie Eath, and of his given name is Nicholas and Nicholas. Biography Nikolai Berdyaev was born at Abukov, Kiev Governorate in 1874, in an aristocratic military family. His father, Alexander Mikhailovich Berdyaev, came from a long line of Kiev and Kharkiv nobility. Almost all of Alexander Mikhailovich's ancestors served as high-ranking military officers, but he resigned from the army quite early and became active in the social life of the Kiev aristocracy. Nikolai's mother, Alina Sergeevna Berdyaeva, was half French and came from the top levels of both French and Russian nobility. He also had Polish and Tatar origins. Greatly influenced by Voltaire, his father was an educated man that considered himself a free thinker and expressed great skepticism towards religion. Nikolai's mother, Eastern Orthodox by birth, was in her views on religion more Catholic than Orthodox. He spent a solitary childhood at home, where his father's library allowed him to read widely. He read Hegel, Schopenhauer, and Kant when he was only 14 and excelled at languages. Berdyaev decided on an intellectual career and entered the Kiev University in 1894. It was a time of revolutionary fervor among the students and the intelligentsia. He became a Marxist and he was arrested in a student demonstration and expelled from the university. His involvement in illegal activities led in 1897 to three years of internal exile to Vologda, 28 in northern Russia, a milder sentence compared than that faced by many other revolutionaries. In 1904, he married Lydia Yudafovna Trushev. The couple moved to St. Petersburg, the Russian capital, and the center of intellectual and revolutionary activity. He participated fully in intellectual and spiritual debate, eventually departing from radical Marxism to focus his attention on philosophy and Christian spirituality. A fiery 1913 article, entitled Quenchers of the Spirit, criticizing the rough purging of Imyaslavi Russian monks on Mount Athos by the Holy Synod of the Russian Orthodox Church using Tsarist troops, caused him to be charged with the crime of blasphemy, the punishment for which was exiled to Siberia for life. The World War and the Bolshevik Revolution prevented the matter coming to trial. After the October Revolution of 1917, as the Bolshevik regime began consolidating its power with a growing suppression of non-Lenin Marxist intelligentsia, Berdia ever remained steadfast in his criticism of its totalitarianism and the domination of the state over the freedom of the individual. Nonetheless, he was permitted, for the time being, to continue to lecture and write. His disaffection culminated, in 1919, with the foundation of his own private academy, the Free Academy of Spiritual Culture. That it was primarily a forum for him to lecture on the hot topics of the day and to present them from a Christian point of view. He also presented his opinions in public lectures, and every Tuesday, the academy hosted a meeting at his home because official Soviet anti-religious activity was intense at the time and the official policy of the Bolshevik government, with its Soviet anti-religious legislation, strongly promoted state atheism. In 1920, Bertie Eve became professor of philosophy at the University of Moscow. In the same year, he was accused of participating in a conspiracy against the government, he was arrested and jailed. The feared head of the Chika, Felix Jerzynski, came in person to interrogate him, 130, and he gave his interrogator a solid dressing down on the problems with Bolshevism. 32 Novelist Alexander Solzhenitsyn in his book The Gulag Archipelago recounts the incident as follows The Soviet authorities eventually expelled Berdyaev from Russia in September 1922. He became one of a group of prominent writers scholars and intellectuals who were sent into forced exile on the so-called philosopher ships. At first, Berdyaev and other emigres went to Berlin, where he founded an academy of philosophy and religion, but economic and political conditions in the Weimar Republic caused him and his wife to move to Paris in 1923. He transferred his academy there, and taught, lectured and wrote, working for an exchange of ideas with the French and European intellectual community and participated in a number of international conferences. During the German occupation of France during World War II, Berdyaev continued to write books that were published after the war, some of them after his death. In the years that he spent in France, 
Bertie Yaw have wrote 15 books, including most of his most important works. He died at his writing desk in his home in Clamart, near Paris, in 1948. Primary source biographical works in English are Bertie Yaw Epps' intellectual autobiography, published originally under the title Dream and Reality, and Donald Day Lowry's 1960 book, Rebellious Prophet, A Life of Nikolai Bertie Yaw Ev, written in close collaboration with Bertie Yaw Ev's sister-in-law, Evgenia Rapp, and others of their close acquaintance under the auspices of the Bertie Eve Societe. Philosophy David Bonner Richardson described Bertie Yaw Ev's philosophy as Christian existentialism and personalism. He emphasized the importance of creativity that requires personal freedom. According to Marko Markovich, he was an ardent man, rebellious to all authority, an independent and negative spirit. He could assert himself only in negation and could not hear any assertion without immediately negating it, to such an extent that he would even be able to contradict himself and to attack people who shared his own prior opinions. He also published works about Russian history and the Russian national character. In particular, he wrote about Russian nationalism. Theology and Relations with Russian Orthodox Church Bertie Yaev was a member of the Russian Orthodox Church, and believed Orthodoxy was the religious tradition closest to early Christianity. Bertie Yaev criticized Russian Orthodox Church and described his views as anti-clerical, but this should be considered in the context of an abusive distortion of the we aspect of churchly sobornost by a pseudo them class divisive Marxist-like mentality. He considered himself closer to Orthodoxy than either Catholicism or Protestantism. According to him, I cannot call myself a typical Orthodox of any kind, but Orthodoxy was near to me, and I hope I am nearer to Orthodoxy, than either Catholicism or Protestantism. I never severed my link with the Orthodox Church, although confessional self-satisfaction and exclusiveness are alien to me. Berdia Ev is frequently presented as one of the important Russian Orthodox thinkers of the 20th century. However, Neopatristic scholars such as Florovsky have questioned whether his philosophy is essentially orthodox in character, and emphasizes Western influences. But Florovsky can hardly be considered an objective unbiased critic, having been savaged in a 1937 journal put article by Bertia F., along with Florovsky's own extreme ultra-Byzantine views impelling his 1955 career change. Paul Villiers has pointed out the sociological factors and global trends which have shaped the Neopatristic movement, and questions their claim that Bertie Yaev and Vladimir Solovyov are somehow less authentically orthodox. Bertie Yaev affirmed universal salvation, as did many important orthodox theologians of the 20th century. Along with Sergei Bulgakov, he was instrumental in bringing renewed attention to the orthodox doctrine of apokatostasis which had largely been neglected since it was expounded by Maximus the Confessor in the 7th century, although he rejected Oregon's articulation of this doctrine. The aftermath of the Russian Revolution and Civil War, along with Soviet interference, caused the Russian Orthodox emigre diaspora to splinter into three Russian church jurisdictions, the Russian Orthodox Church outside Russia, in schism from Moscow Patriarchate until 2007, the parishes under Metropolitan Eulogius, Georgievsky, that went under the Constantinople Ecumenical Patriarchate, and parishes that remained under the Moscow Patriarchate. Berdyaev was among those that chose to remain under the omophore of the Moscow Patriarchate. He is mentioned by name on the Kossin slash Chersonese diocesan history as among those noted figures who supported the Moscow Patriarchate West European Eparchy, in France now Corson Eparchy. Currently, the house in Clamart in which Berdyaev lived, now comprises a small Bertie Eve museum and attached chapel in name of the Holy Spirit, under the omophore of the Moscow Patriarchate. On March 24, 2018, the 70th anniversary of Bertie Aeb's death, the priest of the chapel served Panikita Memorial Prayer at the Diocesan Cathedral for eternal memory of Bertie Aeb, and later that day the Diocesan Bishop Nestor Syratenko presided over prayer at the grave of Bertie Aeb. Works The first date is of the Russian edition, the second date is of the first English edition. The second date.